Hello friends. Uh, today we are going to see the combination of InfraWorks and TwinMotion. So as you can see, I have my InfraWorks model ready over here. Now, what do I do to make it much more, you know, visually appealing? Maybe I would like to add some vehicles to it. Maybe I would like to add some lighting to it. Maybe I would like to add some more special effects to it. For that purpose, now InfraWorks data can be brought to uh, TwinMotion wherein I can add all these details. How do I take this model to Twinmotion? Very, very easy. I have here the present and share tab. I can just go over here in the present and share tab and I have export 3D model option. Now this dialog box gives me the option to either export the whole model or else I can go for some, uh, instead of using the entire model, I can just go over here and select a box. Once I am done with this, I can select the box. I can bring that data in multiple files or single files. Single file will have the complete data. So wherever I am bringing it into twin motion, the whole data will come at once. Multiple files, what it will do is it will help me in bringing in the different formats. I can bring only the ground, abutments, bridges, buildings, decks, generic objects, everything. I can divide the files into multiple. Uh, parts. Another thing important over here is I am exporting the materials and textures. I am merging objects with the same texture and very important large FBX file support so that it is compatible using older FBX SDK also. Once I am done with this, I can just press enter over here. Just a minute, I have done this and just go for use entire model and I can just press enter over here and the whole of model will be exported. Now this FBX file can be brought into uh, Twinmotion for further work. Let us see that. So this is my Twinmotion interface as you can see. I have to install Epic Games Launcher and from within that I can go for this trial for Twinmotion. So this is my typical interface. What you can see over here is the library for the things to add over here. Here you can see the ambience, you can see the effects and everything, the material and all things are there. What I am going to use right now is the import tab, which will help me in bringing the data which I have captured earlier from Intraworks. I'll just go over here. I have geometry, I have direct link, I have landscape, I have point cloud over here. I'll just go for the geometry part right now. Open over here and maybe I should go to my twin motion folder. And I have my FBX file. Now, what if you remember what we did was we had multiple files. You can see over here, I can go for the multiple files option, decks, foundations, generic objects, girder, ground, etc. Or maybe I will use my earlier file, which had the complete project. I'll just open that over here. Now, once I do this, I can bring my complete project to the twin motion interface once this import is done i can start working with the twin motion details let's see now if we can add vehicles to this path so for that purpose we need to move to populate and in populate we will find path and vehicles so for example i Click on path over here and maybe I'll just add a path for the left hand side from this direction. Let me just go back over here and populate path. Select the vehicle over here and go for this direction. I want to add in this direction. You can see the vehicles over here. If you don't find this proper, you can just go back one more time. Go to populate, click the path, click the vehicle path you want to add and restart all over again. Make sure you give a proper path so that the vehicles appear properly. It might take some time to get used to this typical interface. Okay. I can just put escape over here so that the vehicles are added. If I want to see in a bigger view, I can just click on this path and see, okay, 
fair enough so this is okay now maybe i want to add vehicles to the other side of it and just go back again over here go to populate go to parts and add vehicle and on the, now i'll add for this side so maybe what i'll do is i'll try to start my path from here in this direction you can see over here and now i've added i'll just press escape to end the command and in the full view i can see how the vehicles have been added so we can see now how the vehicles have been added whatever speed and density we have decided accordingly the vehicles will move the speed and density can be controlled from here itself what we have seen just if i go to populate one more time and uh, go for path and these are the two paths that i have done i'll just select this one path now i can see the density part i can increase or decrease the density accordingly the number of cars will change accordingly also if i increase the speed of it the speed will also increase 